This presentation is to accompany the book, Consumer Behavior, A Primer, by Gail Tom. How do you change or reinforce attitude? This is a question of the ages and the heart of persuasive communication. Parents sometimes want to change their children's attitude. Politicians need to persuade you to their point of view. Managers may need to strengthen their employees' attitude. Here is one strategy that is suggested by Fritz Heider's balance theory. The balance theory can be viewed as a triangle with three elements. You, another person, and an object. All these elements have relationships. The idea behind balance theory is that these three relationships are all in balance. Here, let's take an example. Okay, here's you. Here's another person, Oprah Winfrey. Here's an object, Slim Fast. Let's say you like Oprah. Oprah is a spokesperson for Slim Fast. Well, she really isn't, but let's just say for this example that she is. The balance theory would suggest that you will like Slim Fast so that your attitude is in balance. To put a bit of algebra into this, we would say that a positive times a positive times a positive is a positive. All is well, all is in balance. You like Oprah, Oprah likes Slim Fast, you like Slim Fast. In this example, everyone likes everyone and everything. Now let's take the same example but put in a switch. Okay, here's you. And here's Richard Simmons. Let's say Richard Simmons is a spokesperson for Slim Fast. He tells us he likes Slim Fast and recommends it. But you don't like Richard Simmons, so your relationship with him is negative. To have a balance in your attitude, you will have a negative relationship towards Slim Fast. Once again, a bit of algebra. A negative times a positive times a negative equals a positive. Okay, let's consider one last example. Here's you. You like Michael Phelps. You stood in awe of his accomplishments as an Olympic champion and his representation of the United States. Kellogg's selected Michael Phelps as a spokesperson. To have a balanced attitude, you like Kellogg's cornflakes. You hear on the news and are so disappointed to learn that Michael Phelps was caught using a bong at a party in South Carolina. Your estimation of Michael Phelps is now poor. At this time, Michael Phelps is still a spokesperson for Kellogg's, and you still like Kellogg's cornflakes. Your attitude is not in balance. You don't feel comfortable in this state of imbalance. So in order to establish balance, you will form a negative relationship with Kellogg's cornflakes. Clearly, Kellogg's cannot allow this to happen and decides to drop Michael Phelps as a spokesperson. So to establish balance, you like Kellogg's cornflakes again, which is exactly what Kellogg's needs.